Shalom, Alan, as they say here in Israel. Welcome to the Soccer Academy. I'm your host, Antonio Suave, and we have a great show for you today from the beautiful and extraordinary country of Israel. Right here at the Perez Center for Peace with Coach Kadam. And what we're going to do is some one touch drills with the inside of the foot. Okay, Kadam? So, what you're going to do is throw me the ball. Hop. Okay? One back, okay? Nice. Thanks. Shukran. Playing soccer makes me really hungry. And you know what? Here in Old Jerusalem, they have a lot of great food. I'm with my man, Deep, and he's going to show us what we have to eat. So come on, let's go. This is classic falafel. Yes. This is awesome. And what is this made of? Chickpeas. Chickpeas. Wow, that is beautiful. And what are these? Chips. Chips. Okay, fries, you call fries. them chips, but they're French fries, right? Yes. Are these as good as McDonald's or much better? No, much better. Much better. Okay. So what else do we have here? Well, let's go one step at a time here. This is hummus? Yes. Oh, beautiful. And this is like mashed up chickpeas, isn't yes. it? They yes. just crunch yes. it up. Yes. That is really yes. good stuff. Yes. And this is a green salad, but yes. it's a mix of like tomatoes and cucumbers. Yes. This is beautiful. And you yes. have here cabbage. Yes. And what is this red stuff? Himred. Himred, okay. Yes. I don't know what that is, but it sounds cool. Yes. What is this right here? Turkish salad. Turkish salad. Spicy Turkish yeah, salad. Whoa. Yeah. A lot of mean peppers tahina. in there. Tahina. 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 This is called tahina. Yeah. And pickles and olives. Yes. This is absolutely fantastic. So, after our soccer game, we're going to come back here and we're going to do some eating. All right? Thanks a lot, man. Thank you. Jerusalem is truly a city of contrast. As you can see behind me, there is both a synagogue and a mosque. The synagogue had been destroyed in one of the wars and is now being rebuilt. And right next to it, literally right next to it, is a mosque. Incredible. Stay tuned because we'll be back with more of the Soccer Academy. Jerusalem is really a city of contrast. It's incredible because you've got the old and you've got the new. In fact, behind me, right outside of the old city walls of Jerusalem is a beautiful new center. It's called Mamila and it has a lot of cool shops. So why don't you come with me because we're going to see a lot more.
Guess what? In Israel, they drink cappuccino as well, just like in many other countries, including the States and Italy. I'm inside the Aroma Cafe, which is just outside of the old city of Jerusalem, and I'm drinking some cappuccino, which is called hafuch here in Israel. And you know what it means? It means upside down, just like an upside down cake. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drink this wonderful hafuch made by Fuad. Cheers. Ah, that's wonderful. In fact, here in Israel, for cheers, they say l'chaim. So l'chaim. We are with Tammy Chai, and she's with the Perez Center for Peace. And it is an extraordinary situation, right, mm -hmm. that you have here, because it is a scenario whereby there is a team that Palestinians and Jewish kids play on the same team. Is that correct? Exactly. The name of the project is the Twin Peace Sports School. They do not play one against each other. They play together in a mixed group. Right. As teammates. Um, yeah, as teammates. And those kids are meeting each other once a month mm -hmm. at the Israeli territories because it's not possible for us to go to the Palestinian territories. Right. And uh, every month they're playing together, practicing together, they're playing peace games. It's with the ball, but you know, with values that connected to what mm -hmm. we talked before. And they're really getting to know each other. We believe that a, a child that is starting this project right. will continue it until the end of it, like when he's around 14, 13, something like this. Right. So we think that with this process, you can do a change. Right, you already established something very positive mm -hmm. within a child's mind so that they think automatically, hey, you know what, that Israeli child, that Jewish child, that Palestinian child who plays soccer with me, he or she is not that bad after all. Yeah. In fact, we can get along and we use soccer as this peace tool or peace vehicle that we've been talking about. Yeah. Okay, Tammy, I would like to thank you very much. Okay. You and the Perez Center for uh, being so kind mm -hmm. and uh, bringing us here. Great, thank you. Now the Perez Center for Peace is also known for having coaches that are both Palestinian and Israeli Jewish. And I'm with the Palestinian coach, Riyad Shwik. Riyad, thank you very much for being here with us. You're really using soccer as a peace tool to bring them together, unifying them by this beautiful international sport, soccer. <laughs> Uh, there is uh, two basic uh, aims for uh, targets for this program. One is uh, to bring uh, the all the Palestinian and the Israeli kids together, and also the families. We uh, before we have the kids here, we talk with the families. Wow. We uh, persuade and uh, fantastic uh, before them what is the idea of the program, and we are uh, trying to uh, make them together and uh, to manage dealing with each other because. Because at the end, they are challenges. This is the most important thing. Yes. And the second target is the infrastructure. Because in Palestine, we don't have uh, playgrounds with grass uh, playgrounds. And this uh, program gives us the opportunity to give the children suitable places and suitable playgrounds. And this is very important for the children. Nothing like sports to bring people together. Thank you very much. Thank you. Shukran. Shukran. And thank you, thank you very much you. for all you're doing. Stay tuned, we'll be right back with more of the Soccer Academy from beautiful Jerusalem. Welcome to our soccer instructional tip of the day. We're at the Kraft Family Stadium that is in downtown Jerusalem, and I'm joined by this great player, Omri Breener. Omri, thanks for being here with us. Thank you. All right, so what we're gonna do is, a lot of times when kids are playing, they are uncomfortable with the ball, all right? They don't know, for example, to stay on their toes and stay ready. So what we're gonna do is a variety of warm-up drills first. All right. all right, so the first thing we're gonna do is simply touch the ball. Okay, up and down, up and down. Awesome. 
Now we're gonna go around in unison. All right, so let's go around the ball. Let's switch, yeah, there you go. All right, fantastic. All right, Omri, that just gets us a little bit warm and now we can shake it loose. All right, next thing we're gonna do is just lightly ball between our feet. There it is. And we're always on our toes. And what we also wanna do is practice looking up, looking to the left, looking to the right, and trying to keep the ball within our vision from the bottom of our eyes so that we can see where all our teammates are and obviously where the other team is. All right, fantastic. Now let's do just a little bit of a stretch so we get down in the ball and we get used to touching the ball. Yeah, and down, nice, down, down, excellent, excellent. There it is, great stuff. All right. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little derivative, all right? All right? Where we shuffle the ball back and forth, but this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna advance the ball slightly. And whatever we do with the left, we wanna do with the right. Okay, okay so here we go. Advance it slightly. That's it. Good stuff. That's it. Good stuff. famous Western Wall here in Jerusalem, and I'm with my friend Miri Ovitz. Miri, thanks for being with us. My pleasure. So tell us a little bit of history about the Western Wall. Well, do you have a few hours? We do. <laughs> the Western Wall is at least 2,000 years old. The, the lower parts of the Western Wall are actually Herodian from King Herod's period, and the layers on top are, tell, I guess, tell the story of the city. Each generation comes and puts a few more stones in the Western Wall. Tell me a little bit about the well-wishing that I can do here at the wall. A lot of people will come and often write notes and place them in between the stones of the wall. It's very interesting, there are gaps in between the, the stones, so you have an opportunity to put them in. A lot oh. of people will come and say, this is miraculous, there's always enough room for enough notes to put in the wall, but actually they're taken out twice a year and they're taken to burial in the Mount of Olives, that's no on the kidding. other side of the Temple Mount. Miri, I understand that you can even fax in notes here to the Western Wall and somebody will take in your wish, fold it up, and put it inside the wall. Is that correct? Definitely. In the past, the, the postal system used to get many, many faxes and people just randomly send letters that say to God at the Western Wall and the letters come here and we put them in the wall. But today, we have internet, email. Go on the website and uh, no place way. your request. Every morning I see it done. You gotta be kidding. Get a printout and an older man, a Holocaust survivor, takes these notes and he goes and places them within the stones of the wall. That is really beautiful. So what is the website? If I want to go on the internet and send in a request, a wish, to the Western Wall, what would I do? You would go to thekotel.org. The word kotel means wall. So if you want to make a wish, get to your computer and send in your wish right now. And Miri assures you that somebody's going to take it right to the wall and put it in.
Stay tuned, we'll be right back with more of the Soccer Academy. שערו איתנו, אנחנו תכף נחזור עם האקדמיה לספורט. soccer we have to practice everywhere we're at and you know what you can even practice right here in old Jerusalem that's right believe it or not we can use an old ancient stone as a soccer ball this is a big soccer ball but you know what we can do some real cool stuff so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plant my foot right next to it and I'm gonna practice some shooting lean over the ball because when you lean over it's a lot better plant foot right next to the ball and you come through with your laces 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 Lace, man, that really hurts. But you know what? The important thing is you can practice wherever you want to practice. We're in the Jewish quarter outside the Cardo. This street was built over 2,000 years ago and it's still fully intact. You have the columns, you have the old cobblestone streets, you got everything. So you know what? Come with me, we're gonna go back in time and see all the shops. Let's go. It doesn't mean hello, it doesn't mean goodbye. You know what it is? It's a real famous cosmetic line that comes from the Dead Sea area of Israel, which is more at the south of Israel. And it contains all of these good sources and minerals and vitamins that are really good for your skin. So after all these years of playing soccer, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask them to give me some Ahava. And you know what? Ahava also means love. So I need some lovin'. Let's go in and see if we can get some love and cream for my skin. Let's go, let's do it. I'm inside the store and guess what? The person who runs the store, her name is Hava. So this is Hava from Ahava. All right, thanks for being here with us. And what's going on here? I mean, this is a great product, right? Because it comes from the Dead Sea. Mm -hmm. We have very good line for body with mud inside. With in mud? In the cream, oh, you have 2% mud. 2% mud. Yes. Now, is that supposed to be good or...? <laughs> <laughs> you have to try. Okay, no? I'll just cover myself in mud. Okay, All no, right. it's cream. It's it, really cream. It, it's, oh, my gosh. You want to try? All right. Yes, I think I will. Uh, oh, I can't eat this, right? This is just for, just this is just for your skin. Oh, yeah. you know what? I'm feeling younger already. I think, you know what? What? This is actually like a 10-year... <laughs> This is a 10-year <laughs> younger cream. Yeah. Miracle. I think it is. It's a miracle cream. This is awesome. But you said it has 2% mud. mud. Mm -hmm. But that's mud from the Dead Sea. Yes. Okay, why did they call it the Dead Sea? Why? Is because it there dead? There's no life there. There are a lot of minerals and uh -huh. there are a lot of vitamins in the Dead Sea, mm -hmm. even though they call it the Dead Sea and they think that nothing is living there. It, 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 like no fish. <laughs> but there's right. other stuff. Mm -hmm. Right. And when people come here to Old Jerusalem and to shop, they should ask for Hava at in the Ahava, Ahava shop. Yes. <laughs> in, what is the name of this district here? This is uh, the Cardo, Cardo. Cardo district. Okay. All right, Hava, thank you very much. You for that. Thanks for joining us here on the Soccer Academy. And remember, if you want to know more about the Soccer Academy, just log on to www.socceracademy.tv. That's www.socceracademy.tv. Because for us, soccer, is always a kick in the grass. God bless you. Thanks, and we'll see you again soon.